Angela Richardson. I am a family advocate. Um, I have a son who is neurodivergent. Well, to be a part of Partners in Policymaking or PIPA uh, has been an awesome experience. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, and one of the reasons I've really enjoyed it is the relationships that I've been able to build uh, and the networking and the doors that it has opened for um, my family and I that otherwise would have been closed. Um, we all get no sometimes. And once we receive a no, sometimes we don't know where to go next. But because of partners in policymaking, I was able to find out where I needed to go next. And I was able to follow up. And I'm continuing to follow through with the different people that I've been able to meet. If I had to define it, I would say, um, well, one of the words my son used, um, it's a game changer. Um, it allows you a voice to advocate on a different level than you probably were aware that you could advocate for, uh, you know, in a way that you could advocate for. And so um, I love it. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like uh, one of the things we learned in class was um, we all become a part of the disability community in one way or another at some point in our lives but it's never by personal choice. And so, um, and, and that was a quote from a US Senator, but what's important to do is for us to establish a common ground. And if we can establish that common ground with individuals, because some people don't know they're gonna be affected by a disability, it happens later in life. And so um, for some of us, it happens early in life. And if we're armed with the right tools, we know how, to help ourselves. And so Pippa has equipped me to be able to help my son. I'd worked with ADAP, but I'd never worked with the Alabama Council on Developmental Dis Disabilities, and I'd never worked with the Center for Excellence in Developmental Disabilities at UAB. Now, I'd been to UAB for the SPARC Center, but to I've never worked with those two groups. So to be with an to be with all three and they collaborated to put this on to help people that are a part of this exceptional community was just an amazing experience. I really value the aspect of the recording so you could go back and watch them because I wasn't able to ascend, attend one session in person. That was part of my apprehension about even submitting my application, because when I started to read the guidelines, I was like, well, I don't want to get involved in politics. And so, but once I kept looking at it, it was like, but I'm not getting involved in politics. I'm getting involved in um, what happens basically at a dinner table with friends is having conversations with the right people so that you could get them thinking about the right issues. And so that doesn't necessarily make you a political person. And, you know, going back to the scope of uh, establishing common ground, like I said, it's open doors. I've had conversations with people I never thought I would have conversations with. I'm Jennifer Rucker. I am a wife, mother, um, advocate for persons with disabilities, church member, Meals on Wheels volunteer, um, community activist. PIPA means um, a great deal to me as I have grown over the months in my understanding of what PIPA is, what we can collectively do as PIPA participants, and the network of resources that have become available to us through PIPA. That there's always room to grow, there's always room to learn. I've been um, a disability rights advocate for 37 years, and I kind of thought I knew a lot, but through PIPA, I realized I didn't know as much as I thought I did, and um, it has also reinforced to me the need to continue to network, and we have heard throughout our many sessions, sometimes it is who you know, and how to utilize those resources, not just for my child, but for hundreds and thousands of persons with disabilities in Alabama. Most of, most of our classes have been extremely informative, 
And um, I have loved our interaction with our other participants. I loved our breakout groups. Um, the presentation and information, though, has really been invaluable to learn um, the history of our disability advocacy efforts and how we've grown on the backs of others and walked down these roads and how um, the overall history and effect was really important. So I really enjoyed the historical aspect. I kind of just jumped into it because I, I had to. I was a parent of a, uh, a child with uh, Down syndrome, so I had no choice. But um, not knowing some of the previous laws and other experiences that other parents had, that, that made a real difference to, to learn that historical aspect. It's okay to say you don't know it's okay to ask questions, and more importantly, it's okay to reach out and ask for help. Through PIPA, I have learned that there are so many different resources and network opportunity and agencies that Alabama does offer that um, they're there. You just kind of have to sort through it to find out um, who the right person is for you in your situation. I think it's made me... Um, a better advocate. Um, and it has reinforced that what I have done in the past has been worthwhile and important. And going forward, we just can't put out the fire yet. Um, sometimes you do get burned out personally, just because of your efforts, and you might not have seen them come to fruition. But um, collectively, we can do great things. And that just, it's just spurred that desire and to me that, hey, yeah, I can help make a change in Alabama, not just because of my daughter, but because of all her friends, the whole family and our disability family. And um, there's, I've always said we're better together and it just makes us stronger. So my name's Niles Valentine and I'm from Mobile County. What Pippa means to me is I discovered that there is in fact a community that cares about the issues that that I myself have been advocating for all of my life. I finally found people who have common ground with me, people who want to see the same changes that I want to see. Well, one thing that I learned from Pippa is that I can talk to my to um, people in, in power. I can talk to the people in charge. I can have direct communications with them, and they will listen to me. They will listen to everything that we have to say. We just say it correctly. I finally discovered that it's not just me who wants these changes. It's not just me who is advocating for the disabled community. Just thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for not giving up on me. I am Shanique Jeffress. I am a mother of a 21-year-old 20 -old who's on the spectrum. Um, I live in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, work with the Autism Support of Alabama. PIPA means to me a way for me to get information and to establish myself to advocate more for my child, to gain relationships with others that will help me get my child in a better position. Um, so I think it, it was, it is a great class and I'm not sure how I found about it, uh, about it, but I'm glad I did. We're gaining so much information. It's like a lot of information that you didn't know about. Like it's you saying you have to come in contact with people to get you to other places because there's just so much information out there that you don't know about that you get to learn about. And then you have to get with these people to learn about it. You always come in contact with someone that's dealing with what you're dealing with or someone who's already been through that. And it's nice to get their information and know what they did or what other information is out there. So it's just been exciting to know there's other opportunities out there to help your child. A lot of great speakers that come out and give us a, a lot of information. I'd say it has impacted me because I see the world of possibilities that of things that I didn't even think about to help my son, I mean, he's uh, 21 in community college and he's almost finished. And I'm we're um, getting to that point where we're looking at employment, uh, different employment. So 
it's different things that I'm looking into that will help him with that. So this has helped me broaden my horizon about that, has gotten me in contact with different people that can help me with that. Pippa is a great class and I'm thankful to all of you for assisting us with this and giving us great leadership throughout the class. I think you guys have been great and you've have made this process a good process for all of us. I am Sharon Henderson. I am from Opelika, Alabama. Um, I got involved with Partners in Policy Making after actually watching um, a Zoom video about the class, about the course, and um, being a parent of a child, two children with significant disabilities. I've had um, a lot of years of having to reach out to politicians um, for assistance. And I felt that this was a great way to grow and gain more knowledge and ability to fight for our rights. Partners in Policy is, is a collaboration of people with like-minded like -minded situations or like situations coming together to push for a cause, to get to get these things completed we we've been fighting for our rights to exist in this country to exist in this world for so long with so many trailblazers and partners in policy has the potential of bringing together all of these ideals together to get some things actually completed and done to finish what our forefathers started. Professor Ken Schaefer was one of our first um, presenters and he is deaf. And I just, I was so just impressed. Um, I, I, for lack of a better word, I just really just felt like this is where I'm supposed to be right now. This was, this was it. His presentation, his story, where he's come from, how he's overcome adversity, how he's become a leader in his field and just um, showing that it doesn't matter what your your ability or disability is, we all have something. So you're able, you know. Uh, one of the things I always say is, is I don't care if your only ability is breathing; it's an ability. We've got a couple of things that are being pushed um, legislatively. And I think if with our joint effort and joint voices, we can get into our communities and get these things through faster than two and three years. It's power in numbers. So we, this group here together, and we push from the group that went before us, the 2020 graduates, and help push their things through. And then the ones that come behind us, I think that you're gonna, you're gonna grow some stuff and we're gonna get some stuff completed. We make it look easy but it's really not. I have no complaints. I wouldn't change my life, our situation for anything in the world. I love my sons. I love our struggles. It makes us stronger. It makes us better. But there's nothing wrong. I know we look like we're doing this, but there's nothing wrong with reaching out and just saying, hey, can I come hang out with you for, you know, let you take a nap or just come you know, need to help me, whatever you can do. Uh, I'm a, a firm believer that it takes a village, you know, and a lot of times we're just kind of in our own little worlds by ourselves because people don't know. They, they, I guess they feel like they don't know what to do, so they don't bother, but we'd appreciate it. And Pippa's giving me that. It's giving me a way to step in and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to help you get this done. I want to stand up. You know, I want to support your rallies. I want to pass out some flyers. I want to hashtag somebody on Facebook. Whatever it is I can do, this gives me a way to do it. Because I'm not always able to, to travel or to, to get out. But there are ways that I can get involved. And Pippa allows that. Because I get to meet people that you know, otherwise wouldn't have met. I'm Emily Bernard. I'm from Tuscumbia, Alabama.
I've really enjoyed Pippa because um, I was already doing some advocacy for my own children and had kind of um, started trying to help other families too. So it was really nice to network with other families who were kind of doing the same thing. It's definitely been just meeting um, all the other Pippa members um, and hearing their stories and um, seeing that there's so many people across the state that are doing similar things. When you're doing this, um, this sort of thing, this kind of advocacy, you at times can feel like you're sort of alone, um, you know, when you have a family member with a disability or you have a disability. And so seeing that there's so many other people out there kind of doing the same thing, just that there's a lot of resources out there for, for people with disabilities. You just have to know how to access them. <laughs> There's a lot of, I mean, I'm in the, my children are younger, so we've done the early intervention school system. We haven't gotten into the adult um, issues at this point. So that's all been new for me. Um, it's mostly just kind of fueled the fire. You know, it's always good to have like a refresher or, you know, at times you feel like you need a break or it gets overwhelming or life gets busy. So this just kind of helps kind of give you the inspiration to keep going. Hi, I'm Brandon Crosby. I'm from Talladega, Alabama, and I got involved with Pippa through the arc of North Talladega County. My, my boss and friend, Janine Gable Curtis, so, um, it was her su su suggestion that I um, enroll in Pippa, and I have enjoyed it immensely. Pippa means to me, it's a way for people to come together and express themselves and get help with whatever needs or concerns they have. Um, yesterday, when we w went to the Capitol building, it was just amazing how open everything was. Like we could walk anywhere and ask questions. And it was just amazing to, to experience that. Becoming more of an advocate for for, um, for myself because usually it's my mom advocating for me and now I'm doing it. So it's really cool. Hearing everybody's stories and just being able to experience this has been amazing. It's given me an outlet to express myself and to become more comfortable with talking to people and networking. Well, my name is Maria Gutierrez. Uh, I live in the Lee County area. And um, I was very grateful to be given the opportunity to be participating in Tupipa. Uh, I was very curious to see what it was all about. And when I found out that it, that it was a moving force for helping parents be advocates and help the state moving forward. So I said, well, I'm just going to submit my application and see if I get accepted. What it means really to me is the richness of having the opportunity to, to network with so many parents across the state, professionals that have been very self-giving of their time, their knowledge, and caring for improving the lives of people with disabilities in the state of Alabama. But I really appreciate the opportunity to network with other parents. You learn from your peers. You learn about the struggles that they have had and how they have come out to improve the lives of their loved one, whether because they got connected with another person uh, or whether because they learn about another resource that they were not aware of. I enjoyed yesterday, the time that we had for fellowship and got to talk to somebody that I haven't really talked to for the whole year, right? To learn more about that person, where they live, you know, how many children they have. All the networks have done a marvelous job facilitating the opportunities for some of our people that need language access. So I really think and applaud you for that because we need to have a more broader representation of our families in this type of or this type of groups not to be afraid to speak up and ask questions that you need to be connected with a local group of parents advocates and educate yourself you need to be the specialist 
the people that know the most about your loved one so that you could speak up to others. Getting to, to talk to the professionals like yourself, right? I mean, you are very uh, transparent and very available. So having the opportunity to, to learn more about James, Stock, James um, Tucker, Nancy Anderson, having that open uh, opportunity to, to learn more about you as a person. I thought that I knew a lot. I've been living in Alabama for over 10 years. However, uh, probably I knew this much. <laughs> so getting to know about the purposes of other organizations and how they play a critical role on the changes across the state has been really an eye opener for me. Um, we need to do a better job of connecting the families with those organizations that are existing, that are, uh, that are currently existing on, on, on the state. And I think that uh, when families get connected with others uh, that are on the same journey, the life of that family is going to be better. The, the opportunities probably are going to be more because somebody had already walked the mile. I'm Christy Giles and I'm from Washington County. My daughter has Down syndrome and we've had to advocate um, for her for the last few years. She's now 16. So that is the reason I decided to get involved with PIPA. ADAP actually referred me. PIPA is about networking for me. Um, Washington County is a very rural county. So there's not a lot of resources and there's not a lot of people who know things down there. So my journey has been very hard trying to find people to help me. Um, and so for me, it's been a reaching out to other people, not just people with a power per se, but other parents who have been through similar avenues that can just encourage you. The networking has been amazing. That's, I just, I love the networking. I think yesterday, since it was kind of relaxed and, you know, we got to meet one of the, um, the reps and got to really bond together because our weekends have been very jam packed with a lot of speakers, a lot of knowledge going on. We've not had a whole lot of opportunity to bond. And so yesterday was a really good opportunity for that. And then going out to eat last night and really getting a little more personal. I think that's been some of my favorite. I am capable of advocating for my child and there are people out there that are willing to listen and that it's, it's a difficult process, but it's not difficult on the aspect of what we can do. It's difficult on the aspect of what we have to get other people to do and that I just have to keep pushing, you know, there's a lot of it that I didn't know. And I thought I was a knowledgeable person on the special ed law and ADA and services rendered. But the, I mean, honestly, all of it, I don't think I can pick out one thing that I wish I could, all of it, you know, every time I leave a session, I go home and I spout out facts to my husband that he's like, what? <laughs> so, you know, just everything. If I could tell everybody everything I've learned, I think it'd be great. It has pushed me to do the advocating for others that I wanted to do. So my project is based off of having, um, teaching parents how to advocate for their children or other people how to advocate for themselves. And I've always been a little skeptical of doing it. One, I worked in the school system, so I kind of felt like my hands were tied. I no longer do that. But just the confidence I think that Pippa has given me to know that I can do that and the push to do it. You know, it's, there's a lot of things that I have been able to look at my husband and said, we've got to do this better. This is something I didn't know about, but we've, we down know. And when you know better, you do better. So now we have to do this. And I guess that's just it. Cause to me, the more parents that stand behind the advocating, the more we get as a whole, you know, I can do all the things but if I don't have other people with me, all the things are not going to get done. Just a thing or two. Hi, I'm Tina Dorius. Um, and what I love about Pippa is the genuine connections and friendships that we've made here. It has made me take my parenting journey and my advocacy journey um, and look at it in a different light where it's not so heavy 
um, because now I have people to join me on my journey. To anyone who's hesitant about joining Pippa next year, I would just encourage them to step out of your box and go for it. Um, the amount of resources and the things you will learn um, are well worth the time commitment and the work commitment that you'll have to put in as well. Um, it's not just something that's going to change your life and your family's life, but most likely it will change the lives of everyone you touch. It's very important that Pippa continues to go on in Alabama because unfortunately we are one of the states that are the least funded um, and we have no centralized um, information or lo um, location for parents of disabilities. Broadly, um, a ver variety of disabilities can get together um, and find what they need. Um, many parents have or individuals have multiple disabilities. Um, so it's very helpful not to, not for just one group to socialize within their groups, but to socialize um, across, across the whole spectrum. My favorite presenter this year was Dr. Kent Schaefer. Um, and he was my favorite because he really brought a lot of things to light that I was unaware of. Um, I have friends who are deaf and hard of hearing and I felt really bad that this was the first time I had ever really had any understanding of the struggles that they had faced in um, getting an education, getting a fair and equal education. Um, I learned a lot and I think the lessons or what I learned from him I'll, will stick with me forever. My name is Yvette Lockett and I consider it an honor and a privilege to have been chosen for this year's PIPA class. I have uh, been empowered and very much educated by all of the wonderful speakers and um, teachers, leaders, and other people that involved with the class, as well as my classmates. I've learned a lot um, that will empower me to, uh, to help my son, as well as hopefully advocate for other people in the future. There should be no hesitation. It is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, it will very much, um, you will learn a lot to be able to go into the future and help people to better understand how to navigate through many of uh, the bureaucracy that you have to go through in helping a special needs, per special needs child or, or adult. Parents, um, parents or caregivers or guardians need to become more empowered to be able to help their loved ones because oftentimes we are not giving the, uh, you don't get the proper information that you need to be able to help people and this class very much gives you uh, a plethora of information that you need uh, to uh, to help to help people. My favorite speaker was Kent Schaefer. Uh, I, I, I like Mr. Schaefer because I was very impressed by the obstacles that he had to overcome and the things that he did to get to where he is. Um, and I was just very much impressed by that. Um, good morning. My name is Latanya Snow, and why I love people is because I, for one, it. For me, what it means to me is we have a lot of goals that we're trying to make reach, but we continue to work together to meet one common goal to get those things accomplished um, that everyone needs and can be a, a use to every parent or anybody else, that child that has disabilities. Think about the needs of your child and think about the needs of someone of helping someone else child to meet their goals or issues that they are having. This is something that every parent need in order to meet their common goals for their child. Or not just their child or any anybody anybody in their family that's that needs. The relationship that I have built with my people class has been extraordinary to me because if I had known about this program three years ago when my child was in um, high school, things would be a lot better um, as far as the transition wise goes. But now that we know um, knowledge is power, so now that I'm using being able to use um, that knowledge and give to someone else, that makes me um, feel happy about them getting what they're needing. Um, for their child. My favorite speaker for the entire um, session that I was in was Alan Burgess. He was very, very detailed about the things that he had been through and I'm going to use some of the details that he had for his daughter with my child and I see that being a great 
it was a great and extraordinary um, situation that he had, and I'm going to use that to, for my child. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jess Tissom. Thank you for the opportunity for allowing me to be a part of PIPA. It was an uh, excellent leadership training, and I learned so much about the in and outs of our state in terms of policy making, how legislation moves through, how to connect with our legislators and important stakeholders. So thank you for this opportunity, and I hope that other people will continue to join our growing organization. If you are looking to join PIPA organization, I highly recommend it as there were certain tools and certain people that I was not aware that were a part of our state. It also became a family to me. The people that you will get to meet and be with, they don't just only become your colleagues and support the work that you do, they also become a part of your family. And um, that is so important to me, especially when you're trying to figure out who your resources are and who your connections are and to grow and to really um, support your cause, but you get to also support theirs too. My favorite presenter was Stacey Hoekland. She did an excellent job of breaking down IDA, which is a really important federal law, and um, how she does it as a parent advocate on different levels. And it was very in-depth training and training that I wish that I would see across our state.